this is kind of a long level. You have to um, find your way. So all these doors are locked except for the pool. And so you have to find a way to sneak into other rooms to get a fruit to give the Yoshi to get into the, the like the attic to get into this pool because this guy won't let you into the fucking pool <laughs> um, because you're not wearing because you're in overalls. <laughs> and I've tried. There, I think there is a way to like glitch through, but I don't know how to do it. Um, and I'm gonna stop trying. <laughs> um. So, one of these tiles is like, I think you can spray it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this I just know already, but the reason this level takes so long the first time is just trying to figure out, like, this is actually a ghost. Can okay. You, you can go through it. Sure. Okay. That coin's not really a coin, it's a ghost. Yeah, it's just stuff like that. <laughs> They're trying to trick me. This one you have to make a picture. Um, what were we talking about before I uh, had twin... a panic attack? <laughs> oh, twin snakes. Twin snakes, and then I don't think there was anything before that. Uh, acquiring games fairly. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you think is the rarest game you own? I don't know what mine would be. Maybe. Persona 4, I guess, for the PS2. Really? I don't know. I got. Is that hard to get? No, no, it's just that it's got the manual and the oh. CD with the music on it also. and I've also got Xenogears and Suikoden, the first one. Oh, Suikoden. For, for the PS1. Suikoden 2, I've played. It's really good. Um, I think I, this is just a blue coin. Um, here's the room with the fruit. But yeah, uh, I don't know what the rarest game I would have would be. Um, you know what? I should have had an answer when I <laughs> when I asked the question. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe like Twin Snakes or Killer Seven or. Oh yeah, for Killer Seven was even a thing. Um, I need to give that game a second chance because that game is really weird <laughs> and um hard to figure out sometimes. <laughs> Maybe we can play it. Um, I can't think of the games I have right now. I have so many. <laughs> I've I've looked at my like game collection because I'm not gonna sell it. But I was wondering like, well, how much is like everything I own worth? Mm. I was like, like just my GameCube games alone are like seven hundred dollars, and like my NES games are like five hundred dollars. If I sold mm. them all, Yoshi. What the fuck? Okay, thank god, I, I... That was weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yoshi can eat ghosts? He can eat ghosts. If you talk to this guy, he makes a... A Luigi Mansion reference. Why can't someone come along and suck him up with a vacuum? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Womp womp. We'll play that game. <laughs> um... Is it this one? Nope. Great. Okay, uh, the worst thing about this level is when you get... Is Yoshi can't open doors? So now I'm stuck here. You're just stuck here? Yeah. I can try killing Yoshi. If I can find some water to throw him in. <laughs> oh, there's water. Okay, I'm stuck on a ghost. Oh my god. Jump off. Okay, he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... This level kind of sucks, honestly. I remember getting stuck on this because I didn't know you could open the doors while holding fruit. Mm. Because I assume since he's using his hands, he can't open it for some reason. Oh, yeah. But you can. I just never tried. I was uh, setting my own boundaries. <laughs> Speaking of ghosts, I just recently watched Ghost in the Shell 2000 and. 16. Oh, really? Yeah, I have it on blue right now. Why? Uh, I watched it, and it's good. Really? I, I liked it. 20... Wait, the live-action one? Yeah. It's actually good. Yeah, it's actually good. I don't believe you. So, no, I watched it. <laughs> going in, I was thinking, there's no way in hell that they're going to 
like do it yeah. one for one like yeah, the animated movie. Yeah, because based off the trailer, it just looks like they. It just looks like that they missed the point <laughs> of the, what the movie was. Uh, they just made it an action movie. I think it's just the trailer because really there isn't a whole lot of action in the movie. There's not. No, not really. Interesting. Uh, and it's it's actually pretty faithful to it. Oh wow. Um, the original movie. right? Yeah, to the original movie. Um, I went in knowing that, and I was just like, I'm just gonna put that aside. I'm not gonna, like, really hold it to that standard. I'm just gonna see what they do with right. it. And it, I liked it. There wasn't anything bad about it. Uh, and then I went into the special features, and they, they had, like, interviews and stuff like that. And it had, yeah. they, like, talked to the, the creator who... Oh, really? Yeah, the creator of the original manga, who was, uh, who had talked to the director, and they, he said straight up, don't do the same story. <laughs> he said, yeah. I want to see what you do. That's smart. And, um, and pfft. it's actually good. It's actually pretty good. I liked it. Now I'm curious. Uh, and they, they also had like, obviously a lot of, in the special features, they put up all of the shots that were in the original animated movie and then the shots that are in the new movie. And oh, yeah. they, like, there are a number of shots in there that they went out, like out of their way to like recreate. Now you don't like it like more than the original, do you? No. Cause the original, like. A point to the original is just that, like the anim, that it's animated. The fact that it's animated, and yeah, done so well, and it has its own vibe to it. Now, if it they're like two completely different movies, which is like uh-huh. I'm fine with both of them. Okay, like one of them's very like the the original is very like sets its own to- uh, tone and has very own like vibe right. to it. Yeah, and the other one's like if I wanted to watch an action movie that had basically the same premise, I would watch that too. And like I said earlier, it really doesn't have a whole lot of action in it. Yeah, neither is the original movie. The original movie, the first couple times I watched it, I was very confused what was happening. <laughs> At least in this one, I can say that I wasn't confused. Um, which, like, I feel like if an, if my parents were to watch the original Ghost in the Shell, they would be like, "Oh yeah, I don't know what's happening." This at girl's all. naked. <laughs> that too. You're grounded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I I didn't feel confused at any point while watching the original, which you know isn't a good or bad thing. Um. It's just I followed the story a lot easier. Maybe because I was speaking English. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think I watched the English dub. And... The English dub to the original movie's bad. Just straight up. <laughs> it's not terrible. Which is confusing because it's the same voice cast of um, yeah, Standalone that's why Complex. Yeah, that's why I watched it. Because, like, oh, Standalone Complex isn't that bad. <laughs> like, that's probably one of my favorite dubs in anime is Standalone Complex. Yeah, it's and, good. But for some reason, it, I didn't like it in the original movie. So this is a fun level called Luck Based. And um, that's not what it's called, but that's what it is. And, it's called uh, what now? Luck Based. Oh, okay. Luck Based Bullshit. Where you just have to get three sevens, and then opens up another almost Luck Based thing, so that you can get to a secret level. So... Um, this is fun when you're trying to do a show. You just want to. <laughs> the other slot machine is way easier because you can do them one at a time. But this one, this one's literally just random, <laughs> and uh, you can be here a while. I don't even need the coins. More coins. Woo! Oh, a ghost. Okay, just nothing that time. Oh my god. <laughs> You know, replaying this game, there are a lot of levels that are just... Bullshit. Have you ever been to a casino? Have you ever watched a movie that you expected to hate, but then you ended up loving? Can't answer my question with another question. (laughs) I didn't realize you were asking something, go ahead. I said, have you ever been in a casino? Oh, yeah, I've been in a casino. I don't think I... Have... You know what? I've been to a horse racing thing, so I've been next to a casino. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been I've, I've, visual, I've seen one. They're actually not legal in Texas, so, you know. It was in Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, so we were in Oklahoma. Yeah. And we went to the Windstar Hotel, and uh, <laughs> I lost a lot of money. <laughs> not a whole lot, but enough to piss me off. Yeah, I, I think... Um, I would just, like, try maybe two or three dollars and then be like, well, <laughs> if I didn't get it, I'm not gonna get it. See, that was my mindset when I went in, and I ended up losing, like, thirty dollars, I think. How did you lose thirty dollars? Uh, 
machines. They're like so they machines. they obviously like lull you into like machines. You <laughs> they uh I don't I, I won a couple times. I won pretty that's, well. Yeah, that's how I get you. I won like thirty bucks. And then I ended up losing that thirty bucks. And then in trying to win again I lost another thirty. So Oh. Oh man. So yeah. Apparently you're supposed to like play on the machines near the front, near the entrance, because like whenever people oh, are coming in, they see they all wanna, the winners. They want to see winners. Yeah. That makes sense. That was my bad because I went to the very back, thinking that they hid the good ones in the back. Oh, they must be hiding the good ones. Yeah, they don't want people to win. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole, it's all rigged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I had a fun time because I was there with some friends, and then we also went to like a all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm -hmm. So it was fun, but like I'd never do that again. <laughs> And I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, I think I would, like... Yeah, just try a little, and just be like, well, I didn't win anything, so moving on. <laughs> I was here for the food anyway. Yeah, I'm here for the crab. <laughs> the crab meat. Delicious crab meat. I've answered your question, now you answer mine. What was your question? <laughs> I'm sorry. My question was, um, did you ever watch a movie expecting to hate it, but you ended up oh. liking or even loving? I know I have... It was probably one of the bad movies we watched. Like, a uh, Jedi Junior High. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna be stupid, and then I had a fun time watching it. <laughs> but, like, legitimately good Yeah, like an actual theatrical movie. Um... Mm, yeah, but I can't remember it. <laughs> I do want to say, I didn't... I don't want to say that I loved Ghost in the Shell. I just really liked it. I would say. Okay. <laughs> Just to clear that up. So when you guys come accusing him... Yeah, I could say at least, Hey, man, I didn't tell you I loved it. Alright, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, this level you fight King Boo. And he looks very different. From Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> oh, okay, so there are a couple things that I could say about Ghost in the Shell, though. They, uh... There are, um... Spider tanks. Oh, yeah? Uh, they're in the movie in the very end. As oh, they, the, the Tachikomas? Yeah, the Tachikoma. I forgot the name. I was just about to say. Uh -huh. uh, so, there's Tachikomas, but for some reason they don't just call them Tachikoma. Uh, they call them spider tanks. They just, <laughs> well, that's too Japanese for my S American movie. Send in the Tachikoma, or <laughs> send in the spider tanks is what he says. <laughs> and that like really took me out of it, because it was like... Ramping up to the ending, but then oh, the spider. Do they spider still, tank? Do they still have that fight with like the big one? Yeah, yeah, that's the ending. Does the major get big muscles for yep. a second? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. That is pretty faithful, then. Yeah. So, like, okay, back to the special features. Um, like, you can tell from at least what they're telling is that like they had a lot of passion towards making this movie. That's the, good. The people who made the movie really cared about the original. Mm -hmm. And, like, every every interview that they had with all the cast was just, like, they had... They were all aware. They'd seen it? They had all, like, were aware of the characters from the anime and manga. Oh, that's Like, cool. even Scarlett Johansson was like, yeah, so she I... Know, she does know about it? Yeah, so she knows about it. And, that's like... cool. They all cared about it. The guy who played Bato did a great job. Um, and, I, and, like, even he was just like, I religiously read the manga... And it was, like, to nail, uh, so I can get down Bato's character. Well, that's good. Yeah, so they... I'm glad they cared. <laughs> they cared. So, that that made me enjoy that a bit more, too. That's, yeah. You can tell when they don't care. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I can't think of any really bad adaptations right now, but, like, you, you know there are plenty of them. Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball. Oh god, that's a great one. <laughs> Somebody like heard of Dragon Ball and then made Dragon Ball Evolution. Um, I've heard the Attack on Titan live action movie is terrible. Yeah, yeah. I've you heard. know what? The I don't know if it's out yet. It's about the, if it's not out now, then it's about to come out. But the they're they're doing a live action JoJo uh, of part four. Really? Oh yeah, that's right. It it doesn't look bad. Oh, yeah. Like even the stands, they look um they're like they're still colorful and not like super realistic looking. Yeah, I always hated that when they were just like it's it's live action. Now we gotta make them dark and stupid. Yeah, I like um it actually it looks pretty good. Even like Josuke's hair, it looks like real and not like mm, a, a wig. Rig. Yeah, I've been getting really lucky by the way because usually you have to spray his um 
slot machine, and sometimes we'll shoot out enemies, uh -huh. and I haven't gotten a single enemy yet. Yeah, that is lucky. If I was doing a speed run. What are these bubbles? Are they painful? Or are they... Um... They really don't show up that often, but they are for me. <laughs> if you don't get, like, a match on the casino, in the, on the um, slot machine thing, then um, it just shoots a bunch of bubbles. Do they hurt you? They can. <laughs> Again! I'm actually getting really good luck because the bubbles you can just get rid of really fast. <laughs> You know, if I was a speedrunner, this would be very good. But I'm just playing for fun. Okay, well now he's just <laughs> dicking with me. What's the goal here? You want to get fruits, uh -huh. and then you throw a pepper at his tongue, and, and then, while he's distracted, you throw a fruit at his face. Oh. Very interesting strategy. Yeah. Uh, okay, here come the enemies. Just <laughs> anything. <laughs> Whatever you got. What are these shocker enemies? Oh, they're from the. Are they new? They're from uh, they're called Electro Koopas. Electro Koopas. They throw their shells at you. <laughs> they got boxers on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, King Boo looks a little uh, under the influence <laughs> in this yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> just a bit. I remember when I was a kid and I was trying to explain to like my aunt like video games and like this game. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. And there's this guy his named King Boo, and like he'll like he has he shoots out other booze, and they're like ghosts. And she thought I was talking about booze like alcohol. Oh, and booze. And was like, what kind of games are you playing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Booze. <laughs> Anyway, he's dead forever now. He never comes back. <laughs> you get re-dead. Re-dead. Re-dead scare me as a kid. Mm. Ocarina of Time. Zombies are scary. Sambos. Little known fact that zombies are scary. In case you didn't know, um, they're frightening. Do some research on that, though. You know, find your own answer. Find your own answer. <laughs> Don't just take my word Come for it. Come to your it. own conclusion. This is the part of the show where we've run out of things to talk about. <laughs> this level is a... Uh, We're coming up on two hours. I think... Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe I'll save the last world for later. Yeah. Because we've probably got another hour of this game. I'll just save it for the next time. Okay. Um, yeah, I think they ran out of ideas for this level because you just gotta spray goop before time runs out. Oh, really? Yeah, that's it. That's easy enough. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really lost this one. <laughs> oh, here's a trick. Until today. Oh, use this as bombs? There's oh. water in these barrels. Those are super effective. Yeah. Yeah. That's epic. <laughs> um, so epic. Whoa. And if you spray those guys... Oh, there's blue coin. If you spray those guys, they give you a blue coin. Oh, okay. So this is an easy place to get blue coins. Uh, but we're not. I've been playing Pikmin 3. Yeah? And I really like that Is that game. the one on the Wii U? Yes. Um, I've only played it, like, once before, so I'm, like, doing a new playthrough. And I, I'm, like, ten hours in, I'm almost at the end of it. It's not a super long game. Mm. It's really good. The graphics look amazing in that game. Oh, really? Like, 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 really good. Oh, like, yeah, they, I, I saw some, uh promotional stuff on that and it's like almost photorealistic some of it yeah like the Wii U has some really good looking games sometimes like few and far between though I mean unfortunately when it's like if they're trying to do like super realistic like stuff no mm. but like Pikmin it's like I don't know Nintendo's really good at doing like gardens and like water effects and stuff mm. and like nature but, like, if they did, like, realistic humans, it probably wouldn't look as good. No. You know? It's just that they, they, they do what they're good at. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I never picked that up. Pikmin 3. Um. Uh, I would do the first two first. Oh, yeah? Um. Is it, like, continuity? Kind of, actually. Uh. Which I wasn't expecting. And it, it's pretty funny, too. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything, but. Okay. 
Yeah. You don't have to do everything. You have to spray uh, most of it. But um, I will say there is uh, one thing I really don't like about the game, and is that the bosses in the game are really long. Oh really? And really kind of annoying. Whereas in other games, bosses didn't really take that long. And then this one, they're like, I don't like them. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Um, uh, the next episode is a Shadow Mario episode, and then I think we'll call it for today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we probably got another hour or so until we beat this game. Phew! Maybe next time I'll do secret levels. Just for fucks and giggles. A saying I just coined. Have you been playing any funny video games? Funny? Funny? <laughs> No, the last video game I played was Persona 5. I oh. Kinda, oh, I've been playing a ton of Splatoon 2. Oh, yeah. Um, I wanna I wanna switch. I think I've already played more Splatoon 2 than I have Splatoon 1. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> you really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I played a ton of Splatoon 1, though. Like, um... I went back to it a few months ago. So I was excited about the new one. And, like, um... Once you get the level 20, you can, like, get every weapon. Oh, yeah. But there's a fakes. And, um... This little bitch. Um... But you can still keep leveling up after that, and then the way leveling up is completely different now. Whereas mm. instead of getting experience points, you get, like, battle points. Oh. And you have to get... It's... It's different. Um... But, yeah. So I think I got there around, like... Level 23 now. Oh, okay. But yeah. That game, that game is still great. I really want the the new one. I need a Switch first. Hey, can I have your Switch? Nah, no. Okay. <laughs> Figured I'd ask. Yeah, no harm in asking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Splatoon 2... Splatoon was, like, born to be a handheld game, I think. Oh, you like it more on the I'll, Switch? Oh, yeah. I love it being handheld, because it's just like... I. Oh, you can play it and, like, do watch other things. Yeah, and it's just kind of like... That's how I play Splatoon 1, is I would watch something on, like, my computer. Yeah. And it's... You know, I could take it anywhere, and it's, like, you know the matches are gonna be three minutes, so it's just, like, as I'm oh, getting yeah. ready during, the, like, the morning, and I've got, like, a couple minutes to spare, I can, like, just load it up real quick and play it. Are you annoyed that you can't switch weapons between battles? Yes! <laughs> I got used to it in Splatoon 1, but it is... I wish it was an option. Uh, it's... <sighs> Are you annoyed that, um... It's really annoying You can't do Salmon Run? Yeah, it's like a time thing. I don't get some of Nintendo's decisions. No, I don't either. I don't know why they do that. Maybe they can only, like, have servers running at certain times during the day? That seems to be the general consensus, is that everyone loves this game, except for these stupid problems that they could just fix. <laughs> that were also problems in the original. Right. Um... In the original, you can at least, like, you don't have to go all the way out of, like, quick play to, like, switch your weapons out. Right. But, like, in, in this one, you can still change your weapons, but you gotta get out of, like, the menu that says continue or stop. You have to, like, stop and then go back to the the first menu to, like, switch over your weapons. Right. But, like, if, if I could just switch at any time, that'd be great, too. Yeah. Um, that'd be great. Do only the just like mid mission, like maybe even mid battle, like <laughs> go back to where like whenever you have to respawn, you can like choose a different weapon and spawn back in with a new weapon. That'd be great. Do you want me to try uh, the quote unquote hardest level in the game before I stop? Uh, that's up to you. How long do you think it'll take? We'll see. Um, it's the the. You know what? As a treat, let's try the pachinko level. Okay. It's hidden under this bridge here. Okay. <laughs> um, it's this one. Oh, boy. Everyone hates this level. <laughs> so this one, you get launched into this giant pachinko machine, and you have to aim to get the red coins. Except the physics are just completely fucked in this level. <laughs> and everyone hates this level. Uh, let's see if I can do it in one try. We'll see. All right, well, I've already missed three <laughs> red coins. <laughs> Well, there's one. I like how you're like, we need to wind down and do one last thing. Let's do th <laughs> something that could potentially take hours on its own. It can be done in one try. You know what? I gotta, I gotta prove these people. I gotta... <laughs> like, 
if you can't beat the Machinko level, then you're a you're a, you're a fraud. <laughs> you're not a real Mario Sunshine fan. Only true gamers know. Yeah, it's this, and then there's one other level that are like considered like the hardest levels, and um, the other one I'll do some other day. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to do two. Yeah, you're not kidding about those physics. Yeah, the, it, it it doesn't make sense. There's like an invisible force that pushes you. It, it's weird. That's what like propels you. <laughs> and then like stuff just pushes you for no reason. Oh, uh, come on. Okay, there's six. I mean, at least you got something out of it. All right. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> hey, there's been times where I've fucked up this level just by jumping off. Um, okay. This is where the shine sprite appears once you get all the coins. Can I, like. Okay, Mario, why? Are... Why? Oh! Can I, like, sneak in there? No. Okay. Go through the back door. If I can do this in one try, I'll be. I'll be pleasant surprised. If I don't do it in one try, I'm just giving up. This is just... Okay. Okay, <laughs> there's one more. There's one more. It's that one down there. And I... Once you're sliding, you can't jump for some reason. So uh, you don't cheat, I guess? I guess. They want you to, to suffer. Oh! Oh! Hey, okay. not bad. Okay, okay. Now I just have to land in there. If I can really do this in one try, this would be... I'll be, I'll be, I'll feel really good about myself. <laughs> Go home a winner. I think I, I don't have to move. <laughs> Mario, please. <laughs> woo woo! And then you just get launched out of it. Ooh, okay, yeah. Alright. That's, that's like the hardest level. <laughs> <laughs> cool, that didn't even seem that hard. Alright, well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ending this level, this episode on a high note. Uh, next time we will do, um, Pianta Village, and then maybe some other secret levels, and then the final level. And then... Then we'll be done. And then we'll be done. Yeah. Not a super long game when you know what to do. <laughs> Alright. Ending on a high note. <laughs> I like your use of puns. <laughs>